All right. We just talked two seconds ago, but we're back now again, right? So welcome to the world according to Jason. Hey, hope you're all having a wonderful day out there. I decided this chapter I'm going to do, it's actually chapter 10 in the book. But, hey, it's fucking, it was funny. I'm not going in any sort of order. I'm just having fun with this. And I saw it, and I honestly tell you, I started fucking laughing because it reminded me of when this shit actually happened. Let me adjust this here for you real quick. Sorry, my bad. That It actually, when it all happened, and this shit made me laugh just fucking thinking about it. I actually read the chapter over, and I was laughing my ass off and just remembering it. So, the title of this chapter is, He Shit Himself. <laughs> really fucking happened okay and now everybody's had somebody pass out in my industry somebody fainting super normal every other fucking day it seems to happen you know what happens is uh a little bit of my pink lemonade what happens is people come in there they get really they're really excited their heart rate's real high all of a sudden they see you know they're all the sugar drops and then they get that piercing people pass out this is normal this was not that type of situation how this happened was, these two couple, this couple came in. I remember, I think it was like a little Mexican girl, a little Mexican dude. Dude was definitely a Mexican dude. The girl was a Mexican girl, I think, too. Really fucking cool people. Like, hella cool people. She decided she was going to get her hood done. So I went, went over all the jewelry with her, of course. You know, talked to her, but I told her pretty much like I, what I like to do is explain the entire process to people who don't, may or may not already know everything. One, it helps them. I don't know what's going to happen. And two, it really does make people a lot more comfortable. Um, you should always try to make your clients as comfortable as possible. You know, I mean, you are shoving needles to them or you're tattooing them for prolonged hours, etc. So we went over everything and then um, we decided on the jewelry, everything like that. We go in the back. She pays. It's her and her dude. And of course, see, I'm not one of those assholes. Some people will be like, oh, we don't want other fucking people back there. Right now, a different situation with the COVID stuff. But at this time, you know, this is long before COVID existed, or maybe it did in some lab, probably not just in China, but either way. But, you know, this is, I always like to, if it's a boyfriend, a girl's got her dude with, sometimes it can be kind of fucked up because they're looking at you like they're all pissed off. Like, boy, that, girl's t- that guy's touching my girl's scooter. Oh, boy, he's touching her vagina. He's touching her tits. Motherfucker, I'm shoving a needle through it. I don't give a fuck, Holmes. You know, that's more for you. It's more on your issues if you're all jealous and stuff. But to the point. I get the girl in the chair, you know, I set up everything, get her all cleaned up and ready. You know, homeboy's sitting there, she's just like chatty, 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 chatty. And uh, it was really fun. Like I said, really cool people, really cool girl. Homeboy's over in the corner of the room, and he's looking scared. He's looking more scared than her, to be honest. So I sit there, you know, I clean her all up, I do the whole thing. Now I'm one of those people I like to think of as a yoga class. So when I pierce, I'm not one of those people that say one, two, three, or anything like that, pierce on two, etc. I'm actually the type of guy, deep breath in, slowly out, always pierce on the exhale, etc. So that's what I did. Pierced her, you know, then I run the, I run, how I do it is I go down. So then I'll run a taper back up, etc. and run the jewelry through. So I do all this. She's like, oh, my God. No, no. And she actually kind of liked it, to the truth. And she wasn't one of those ones like freaking out about the pain. She was actually like, oh, that wasn't very bad. It was kind of cool, actually. No big deal. Awesome chick. So I clean her all up. You know, she takes a couple little fucking pussy selfies, whatever. And she's all excited. And she puts her panties back on, puts her pants back on. And her and I are just, I'm going over the aftercare process with her. I don't even think to look at her, dude. Didn't even think about it. I mean, we've been done now for like five minutes. I look over, for whatever reason, I look over at Homeboy. And she does too. This fool went from being a dark olive skin to ghost whitish gray. And he looks at the two of us, just wham, passes out. Straight down, smacks to the fucking floor. I'm like, holy shit, this dude just bonked his head type thing, you know? I'm like, oh, crap. And I'm like, oh, and I get ready to go down and grab him. All of a sudden, the smell permeates the entire room and i'm talking stank like i don't know what this cat was eating i ain't gonna sound racist and say it was beans because hey i eat beans at every meal por ahora como nosotros la borrego los otros como los muchos frijoles pero va alegro que bueno que bueno either way i don't know what the motherfucker was eating but you know whatever he ate i think it died inside of him and all of a sudden the whole room stinks i'm like Oh, and I'm like trying to think, and all of a sudden the girl's like, what the fuck is that smell? 
I'm like trying to hide the whole situation. Like, oh God, what the fuck do I do? And all of a sudden, I'm, th I'm thinking to myself, oh, I think this dude shit himself. And all of a sudden, homeboy stands up. And granted, he landed on his fucking face, you know? And then I look and I see his pants. And thankfully, I'm like, oh, good. And you can just see the streak all the way down his drawers. Luckily, it didn't come out the fucking bottom of the pants yet. And this girl looks at him and she's like, Oh my God, you fucking shit yourself, you stupid fuck. How could you embarrass me like this, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, uh, and the dude runs away. Oh, runs to the bathroom, of course, thankfully. You know, and the whole room still stinks. This girl's going off. This son of a bitch shit himself. Well, I'm thinking to myself, like, girl has some compassion, anything. But nope, homeboy comes back in the room and he's all like, oh, just tear his eyes look like this, like, oh. But as round as I can get my slanted ass eyes. <laughs> Sorry. You know what I mean? Whoa. I got my slanted eyes. Don't make fun of them. They're still beautiful blue eyes, even if they are slanted. So, his girl's freaking out. She's looking at him. He's like, oh, we, we got to go. This bitch slaps him. Whap! Right across the face. Like he owed her money type slap. She's like, you son of a bitch. I can't believe you fucking embarrassed me like this. And he's like, oh, and she's like, I'm so sorry. And hey, she handed me 40 bucks for a tip. Hey, I can't complain about that. 40 bucks for a dude to shit himself. Thankfully, though, there was nothing to clean up. Because had there been a bunch of shit to clean up, embarrassing or not, I'd be like, hey, homie, there's a bucket. Y'all clean up your own shit. I didn't even pierce this guy. He just watched. That's it. So, you know, sometimes this happens. I don't understand it. Never really have. I, maybe it's because maybe I'm not supposed to, honestly. You know, there's a lot of things in life I don't think I'm supposed to understand, and maybe that's one of them, you know? So, that is the chapter 10. He shit himself. <laughs> really happened. Stanky. Stanky, danky. Either way, I will get back to you all soon. We'll do another chapter. Maybe we'll do something else as well. I kind of want to finish this book. Um,. You know, maybe I'm, I'm thinking about doing some live video, too. Maybe we can all talk about what we'll I think of a subject. We'll be like, aliens. I love my fucking alien shit. So, until that time, representing, as always, the city of sin, my sweet home, Las Vegas. I want to get it tattooed over my eye. But my girl says I'll look like a cholo. I don't think so. But maybe she's got a point. I hope you all have an absolutely wonderful day. I hope you've all had a wonderful fourth, you know, stay safe, wear your motherfucking mask, because remember, the world according to Jason, I am the one and only Jason Terhune, Jason Christ, Jason the Baptist, Jason the Messiah, the almighty Nephilim, and there's one thing I love, life, you know, a lot of people bitch about life and they talk a lot of shit. And oh, my life sucks. My life sucks. Well, somebody's life always sucks more than yours. And I'm sure there's, I know there's people with lives that are supposedly better than mine. And there's a lot of people with a shit hell of a lot worse. I'm a greedy son of a bitch. All shapes and ways there. Because I like living. Living is something that I enjoy doing. I enjoy waking up and be able to spend the time with my girl. Spend time with my rugrats. Do the type of shit I like to do. And if y'all don't wear your motherfucking mask, you may encroach upon my living it's just respect i wear it so i don't get you sick if i got it and i don't know i don't want to breathe on you and if you got it and you don't know you shouldn't want to breathe on me we ain't trying to fucking have no fucking breath orgy in this bitch all right so that's the world according to jason as they say in canada which we're not we're in america america peace eat a eh? deuces